the question, the big question now is, who is financing terrorism in Africa? Precisely Sahel, Sahel countries. Who is financing them? That is the big question now. Especially after the attack carried out by armed groups against the Malian armed forces in Tombuku on September 12th, 2024. Those guys during this recent attack used drones according to the information. Those guys have been in possession of those drones for several months already. Mohammed El Maud of the armed group suggested that they bought these drones for them. They bought these drones to fight the Malian armed forces and that they were not supplied by Ukraine. We have contacts, but they have not given us any team, nor by the group supporting Islam and Muslims linked to Al-Qaeda. The drones have been in our position for several months, but we had to train people to make grenades. It is dangerous and it takes time, he suggested. For the moment, no statement has been re- released by the Malian government on this matter. The use of drones by terrorists raises question about the people sponsoring them. It gives another face to these battles. After the attacks carried out against the Malian armed forces and their Russian allies in Tenzawatin, the Malian armed forces for their part in coordination with the Armed Forces of Defense and Security of Burkina Faso are increasing drone strikes on the position of this group. What is going on here? What is going on in Africa? What is going on in the Sahel? Who is sponsoring these people? I have asked this question before. How do these guys get medication? How do they get access to everything they need? Not to talk of drones. How did they buy it? Where did they buy it from? Who did who signed the deal for them? Like who gave them the contact? How did they get it? There is a big this is a big question to answer. And there's a there's a very big problem here. The whole thing is beginning to make sense to me. That means there is a force behind these guys. They are not just acting on their own. There is a force behind them. And the the thing is, I I just hope and look forward to a time when the force behind these guys perpetrating this evil in this region will be unraveled. Let's look forward to a time when this force behind them will be unraveled because the whole thing is getting too much and out of hand. How did they get drones for crying out loud? Who gave it to them? How? Let me end this here. Thank you again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I come your way again with more trending news. Bye.